Hey, I'm here with Miranda Granger and I'm recording this so that we have this as record for tracking postpartum progress. We work together through pregnancy. And as you can see, she has a brand new baby girl, Austin. So sweet. How are you doing, girl? I'm doing really good. I'm like surprisingly doing very well. So <laughs> I know. And I know you had like a lot of like anxiety with the uncertainties of labor and delivery and postpartum. So yeah. are you just so relieved right now? <laughs> yes, I am. And then, I mean, just, I don't know. It was just so much, it was just better than I thought it was going to be. So Good. yeah. Well, I love hearing that. <laughs> That's so awesome. Well, she's very sweet. So you are about a month postpartum. Yes. Like almost exactly, right? Yeah. Uh, I think I think I'm like three weeks, four days. So we're almost there. I know it's so crazy. That makes me sad. <laughs> I know it really does go by fast, even though it's kind of like a blur. Yeah. And, um, are you sleeping? <laughs> I actually am like, she's a really good sleeper. She's up. Uh, she's sleeping right now, but like, she's up a pretty good portion of the day, like stays up really well. And then she eats really well. And then, um, usually falls into like a pretty deep sleep around like 10 30 and then wants to wake up and eat a couple times but goes right back to sleep so I'm actually getting like seven sometimes eight hours of sleep which I know oh, is kind of so so, yeah a little yeah. miracle baby here I know I'm I know I'm probably screwed with the second one but I'm going to take advantage of this first one right yes now. yes well she is very sweet and yeah. Um, so the past month, what, or three weeks, four days, what does that look like for you? Uh, lots of just chilling. <laughs> I haven't been doing a lot. Um, we've been going on walks and I've been doing like the, you know, the breathing exercises and the bridges and that kind of stuff, but nothing, nothing crazy. Caden's been home. My husband, Caden has been home and, uh, yeah. I don't know. We've just been holding. I'm cut out for a little bit right there. Right. But you've just been pretty much chilling, going on walks, oh, okay. doing some of your rehab, and uh, it's been nice having Caden home. Yes, very nice having Caden home. He went back. Well, I went and saw the PT today, that public floor PT today. So he stayed home with her while I was there. Yeah. And then uh, he just left for work, actually. And how did that go? <laughs> how was leaving her and how did it go for him? It was actually good. The the PT are leaving the baby. It was good. She I fed her right before I, I fed her right before I left. And then he took her on a little drive. If she yeah. got she got a little cranky, just took her on a little back road drive and then it was good. Perfect. All right. So let's yeah. talk about your PT visit. How did that go today? It went really good. She knew who you were, so she was super pumped that I was working with you. Cause I told her I was working with a, a pregnancy postpartum coach. She's like, okay, like, who is it? Like you could tell she was super skeptical of it. Yeah. And then I said your name and she's like, oh, I know her. Okay. I'm not really worried about you. <laughs> oh. like, okay. Yeah. Man, yeah. we've come yeah. so far. I swear it's crazy. Yes. I'm, but I'm so glad that's a really good sign that she yeah. at least is aware of, um, of like athletes trying to pursue yes. goals postpartum and, you know, not, not basically just rehab. So, yeah, she said she's worked with a lot of athletes. Um, she's worked with a couple fighters, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah. And so, um, not anything like my level, but definitely worked with, with people. And, uh, she was, she was really, really cool. She seemed like she knew her stuff. So Oh, I'm so relieved for you. That's yeah. great. So did you have an internal assessment today or is it mostly just talking and education? Uh, it was no internal just because she wants to wait until my six week to do yeah. that whole assessment. But um, mostly just talking. We went through the workouts that like this, those smaller workouts that you gave me yeah. and she kind of watched me do all of them and then like helped me like if I wasn't doing something or if I wasn't like fully, you know, relaxing after my breathing and stuff she was right. like taking keeping an eye on that or if I'm I was like I was uh when I was doing like the marching I was like tilting my hips up I didn't even realize I was doing that so just having someone watch me do those types of things were really good yeah. oh it's so helpful so I like I love being able to 
work in conjunction, like have a PT have their eyes on you for some of those like smaller oh, movements yes. and drill it in um, so that it, you can build yeah. that with your, with your other stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Um, and so as far as birth goes, you didn't push very long, you didn't tear and you're feeling pretty good in your vagina, right? <laughs> yes. The vagina feels really good. Uh, the butt was the problem. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So, cause you have it in some hemorrhoids mm -hmm. initially and still, or, um, not as bad still I've had hemorrhoids in like my whole life. So it's, it's something I was semi used to, but definitely after pushing, it yeah. felt like I had like a golf ball. Like it was like really, really bad. Yeah. Uh, but that's gone. I mean, it's gone way, way down. So okay. yeah. Good. And so uh, like, again, to kind of bring attention to some of your tendencies were to like, kind of like stand with your hips really forward. You like squeeze your glutes. <laughs> Basically you squeeze your asshole pretty yeah. frequently. <laughs> <laughs> and so then you add like labor and delivery on top of that and a baby coming out, like that's just a lot of pressure and tension on your yeah. butt and also your vagina. So as you work through your like normal activity to daily living and exercise for you, it's going to be really cognizant of like letting your glutes release, like keeping your weight more midfoot, your pelvis more stacked versus like standing, you know, with your hips jetted forward. Yeah. So I'll move her around a second. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. And I told her, I told her that about my tendency to do that and that we had, we had talked about that. Mm -hmm. And so she was definitely keeping an eye out for that and kind of just helping me basically the same things you were saying. She was just looking out for and reiterating that. Yeah. That's great. I'm so glad. I'm glad that you, know, you have that extra set of eyes on you and, um, when do you go back for your, um, internal assessment, like six weeks or a little later than that? Yeah. She felt she, cause I was scheduled. I just scheduled a bunch of appointments. So she yeah. scheduled me, but then she said that she felt like I was on the right track and had the right, I was talking to you. And so she felt like she doesn't need to see me until she can do the internal assessment at six weeks. So we'll, yeah. I'm going back, uh, October 5th. Okay. That's great. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have a pretty good idea of like where you're at right now physically, um, as far as that goes, based on what you've told me, based on your labor and delivery, based on your pregnancy. So we kind of start connecting the dots. But once you have that internal assessment, it'll be a little bit easier for me to kind of have that con more concrete knowledge of what you really need. Um, yeah. I'm just kind of checking for prolapse. If you feel like you have to pee all the time or, you know, if you do pee when you sneeze, just things like that. Of like, do we need to strengthen it or does it need to like kind of down train and learn to relax a little bit more? So we know about your glutes. I just want to know about the, the pelvic floor. So, yeah, I definitely haven't had any like leaking or peeing or feeling like I need to like run to the bathroom at any yeah. time. So good. everything's feeling pretty good. Yeah. I know. Um, like no pain or pressure, like in your vagina where you feel like a tampon's falling out or anything like that? No. Okay. That's great. Um, it just keeps breaking up a little bit. Sorry. Um, yeah. I, I'm really I have bad excited. service too. What? I have bad service here too. So it's just, <laughs> I, I remember. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's really awesome. Um, well, I think that, you know, doing the rehab exercises from the, the first six weeks handout that you have in addition to some of the movements that she's recommended for you to kind of dial in. I think that you are likely ready to start the actual eight week postpartum program based on where you're at right now. Okay. To go into more of that. Okay. And that's what I was going to ask you about today. Cause I was like kind of looking over that today. Yeah. yeah I know you're antsy dude. And like, yeah. you're in a really good place to, to start that, right. You're let your body rest and recover for a month. You're feeling good. There's no, you don't have any like dramatic red flags right now. So, um, and the okay. first phase of that program. So it's like in, um, four, two week cycles. So the first two weeks of that program is all very like pretty gentle introductory, but it will get you moving again and feel like you have like a structured workout versus like do these couple rehab exercises. So it is still very like low intensity okay. and still very rehab focused, but just more of a, um, just give you a little bit of something. Okay. Yeah. 
I need something. <laughs> totally. Totally. Have you been back to the gym yet? Just to say hi to everyone. Um, I've had more, I've had a couple people from the gym over here. I'm actually going back to the gym today. So nice. to coach, we're going to bring, bring her in and yeah. 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 Well, that's going to be so good. How are you feeling yeah. about, um, your body and food and, um, just all of that, like the kind of like mind fuck that is postpartum? Yeah, honestly, I actually feel really good. I mean, maybe just because I haven't seen myself that big as when I was pregnant. So like anything looks small now. So like, I feel, I feel really good. Um, food's been really good. The last week, I think she, Austin, has like developed. Okay. Sorry, I think I cut out. Did I cut out? Yeah, a little bit. Um. Yeah. So she's developed a little bit of a dairy thing. So I've cut that out the last three days and she's been a lot better. She was like puking a lot, like mm -hmm. not, a, I know normal, like puking is normal, but it was like full, like the full thing every single time right. I'd nurse her, like, all of it, like, it was bad. And then her poop got kind of like mucusy. So then I, and I knew that was kind of a sign of dairy. My doctor told me to look out for So then I've been cutting that out for the last three days and she's been fine. So good unfortunately <laughs> yeah 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 oh man well um yeah and so I'm glad that you're feeling pretty much mostly okay with your body and then adjusting to breastfeeding needs and um we can be our own worst enemy sometimes in those early yes. months postpartum so just it's great to keep leaning into that patience and um just like the overall process. Like this is just part of the process, right? Just like you're, yeah. when you have like a training camp, you're trying to get ready to like, you know, that your early weeks look a hell of a lot different than your later weeks. Right. So that's right. very similar. With postpartum. Yeah. And I took your, I took your advice and I have not weighed myself yet. So I think that's helping too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you don't have any reason to right now. Right. I know it's just weird. Cause that's I like, know typical <laughs> yeah but you're not in a typical season of your life and it's okay to not like be measuring stuff right body right. Food, whatever I know it's weird you'll, you'll get back into those habits again but for now they don't really support where you're at right right it's been I mean it's been good though so yeah well it's awesome you know when you are less I guess it's like when you're less stressed about your body and like feeling all of that anxiety around weight or I need to work out or I need to do this. Like Austin gets your, the best mm -hmm. version of you, you know? Right. Able to just right. And I think uh, at least I know myself and I know, like, I mean, I know how to lose weight when I need to lose weight. So it's, right. it's not like I'm like in this, like, how am I going to do this? I know I'm going to do it. So I think that's helped a lot too. Like yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I just feel it feels really good. The, the first week was hard. I had a lot of like anxiety stuff yeah. that I was dealing with, yeah. obviously. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I feel a lot better. And I think I'm learning a lot as I go. And yeah. having Caden really helps too. So, oh, absolutely. And he's such a great guy. I'm sure he's been an awesome yeah. dad so far. Yeah, he's been great. Oh, I'm so happy for you. And I'm excited <laughs> for, um, for this next chapter you're stepping into like you've really honored those early weeks and you're kind of like you're checking your boxes like you saw your PT you know you're adjusting to your breast re breastfeeding relationship you're adjusting to your body you're keeping the big picture in mind and that's why I think like starting with the eight-week program that'll take you you know like four to eight, 12 that'll take you to about 12 weeks postpartum to finish up that program and for you, you'll start adding in some of your sparring and make it a little bit more like uh, fighting centered things, but yeah, uh, like towards the end of the program. But I think okay. it's going to be a really good focus for you right now is to just start adding, adding in those bricks of getting stronger again, like rebuilding okay. your whole foundation. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I was going to tell you too, like the, I'm going to Vegas in October Okay. So the UFC, obviously the UFC PI, my PT actually does pelvic floor stuff too. So mm -hmm. she was going to kind of do 
some sort of like exam on me from like a fighter's perspective too because obviously that's all she works with is fighters and stuff too so um so that will be I think that will be good too just to get another set of eyes on the thing I'm really comfortable with her and she knows me really well and I've worked with her the whole time I've been in the UFC so right that'll be great and yeah. when in October are you going and are you going just to sort of like touch base with people or are you hoping to get in some kind of training or what? No, I'm going the end of October and I'm, I'm literally just going to see her. So okay. I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm not going with any, it's my, like my, uh, younger cousin, it's her 21st birthday too. So everyone's, our whole family's kind of going down, but, um, I'm going to take it as like a <laughs> opportunity to go and kind of get back into the, see, yeah. see all my friends and stuff that are down there too. So. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. No, yeah. I think it'll be good to sort of step into that space again, as you're, you know, again, by that point in time, you will be rounding out, um, you know, be like further postpartum, you'll, you will have been exercising a little bit more consistently. Um, and it'll be good. And then we can kind of forecast what your training is going to look like beyond, um, beyond the eight week postpartum program. And when you're adding in a lot more of your actual fighting and building up those, that skill set again, um, with sparring, with grappling and all of that. As far as like, um, just like basic training stuff, like, uh, footwork or like if I did any like light mitt hitting or anything, like, should I just not be doing any of that right now? Or when, I don't know, (laughs) I know it's hard to put like a timeline on everything, but yeah. I don't know. What it what would like make you happy to do right now? Maybe just like some light movement where I'm not hitting or like 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 when we when you came, you saw me like hitting mitts like hard, but we also right. have like these real we have like these little like sticks that literally just like you're touching them, but there's no there's no impact right. that's happening to where I could maybe like move like slowly through some combos yeah. and stuff like just to get my it sounds really good to like if you're just kind of training and going through the motions and kind of building those patterns again I think that's totally fine I wouldn't suggest doing a lot of um like footwork where there's a lot of like bouncing and like moving around I wouldn't really suggest doing that but if you can just kind of be just I guess stationary yeah like a little bit more stationary versus moving around the bag or around the person Um, I think that would probably be your best bet for now, but that conversation will likely look different in a few more weeks after I, I know how your exercise is going when you're building up some of that movement, adding some load and things like that. So that's definitely something that's a, like the order of operations. Like I want to start with that and then see how it goes and then kind of build off, build off of that. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it's like that fine line of like, what's going to give you some mental and physical enjoyment and also like honor where you're at right now. Okay. Okay. We can do that. Sound like a good compromise. (laughs) Yes. I just want to like move. Like I am a fighter again a little bit, just throw throw a punch or something, even if it's into the air, I don't really care. Just, and you should, and when you go like, so the, the next couple of weeks, it'll be like your rehab movements, some of your basic compound movements, and then like a little conditioning circuit. So if you mm-hmm. wanted after your conditioning search to, to kind of go through some of the shadow boxing or just different like sparring combinations, I think that's fine. I don't okay. want you to like be exhausted from it. I don't want you like doing a lot of bouncing and impact right now. Um, right. I don't want you having to do like a ton of like really like forceful rotations, but I know you're not doing that. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. Just rebuilding. You're going to get there right. and you're going to get there soon. Yeah, I can handle that. I know you're doing a great job. You should be super proud of yourself. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, you are. I mean, I really, I want you to feel that. I want you to feel a lot of pride in like how you're navigating your like athlete version of yourself and the mom version of yourself and like the journey to combining both of those things. Well, thank you. You're doing great. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and I definitely want to see you soon. Um, yes. I don't know what my life looks like, (laughs) uh, still with everything on the horizon. Um, but I could, I'm thinking either November, December or, um, you know, January, I know we talked about when you wanted to actually go to the UFC, um, Mm -hmm. to, or at least to go to Vegas to, um, do training. Yeah. Yeah. 
So maybe yeah. Well, I mean, I can go because I can go to Vegas. I can go to Vegas whenever. I mean, she's super chill, so I'm hoping she's super chill on a plane. (laughs) Um, we'll see. But Vegas is a shorter flight anyway. But I, I can, we can go whenever I want to go. So whenever I'm like ready to start doing that, yeah, that could be a good meeting place for both of us. We can get into some warmer weather. (laughs) Yes. uh, Yeah, I'd, I'd enjoy that a lot. Yeah, it's starting to get it's starting to get cooler here. <laughs> and um, I would not mind like baby wearing her while you do your thing. Yes. I'll just like hang out and like walk you down to the baby and be so happy. Yeah, that'll be perfect. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad we got to catch up. Um, if you want, it's Monday. Get started with that program. And okay. let me know. Like, you know, you can start about three days a week. And I think you will start to feel a little bit more like yourself once you start moving like that again. Okay. I'm excited. All right. Well, it's great to talk to you. Enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. You say bye. Bye. (laughs) She's out. All right. Bye. Bye.